Right, is, uh, is that on then? Does it say recording Hillary? But don't speak in case it is, just, just nod or shake your head. Well, it should be on because I pressed record. Is that the red light? Yes, right, uh, yes, well, we're on, we're on then. Uh, right, okay, can you go away now? Because I don't want you coughing or sneezing over the recording or anything like that. Uh, uh, that chicken in the sink has not defrosted yet. I've had my thermometer on it, okay? Wait until I've done this and we'll review afterwards. Salmonella is not on my agenda for this week, Hillary. Thank you. Unbelievable. Right, we can begin. Sinking audio now. Hello, my name is Colin Henderson, Senior Financial Auditor for CBJ Credit Control. Now, the reason I am recording this video message is because I have recently made several complaints to my Human Resources Department, who in turn have been very slow to respond, if indeed at all. And as such, I want to ensure that my complaints are being recorded for posterity. Now, the only place to store videos that I'm aware of is YouTubes, uh, I'm told, so I assume they will be safely retained there in confidence. Uh, my wife Hilary says that since I've technically retired from uh, the auditing business and only do so on a freelance basis, that I also need a hobby to get me out of the house every now and then. Uh, I can't imagine why she'd say that, but uh, 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 anyway, in that spirit, I'll also be updating you on perhaps my favourite hobby, visiting the local household recycling centre, uh, of which I am somewhat of a regular visitor. Uh, I do go at least uh, three times a week, and uh, when I'm there, I tell you, it, it, it does amuse me no end, the amount of mistakes that people make when disposing of waste. Ugh. I sort of feel like it's my duty to correct them. Uh, uh, also, uh, I don't want to brag, but uh, I do know the manager down there, a man named Logan, uh, known quite well, and uh, he, he really does appreciate my help uh, uh, in running the place, uh, even if he doesn't say it directly to my face at all. Uh, right, I will do a recycling update next time, but for now I need to record a complaint from yesterday to business. I will read the email from my computer here that I sent at 8.53am. I sent it to our manager, Richard Groves, and CC'd in the HR team and my colleague, Anthony Kenny. You'll see why shortly. <laughs> uh, subject, capital letters, dangerous emergency. To Richard Groves, the following report contains information regarding, but not limited to, breach of company policy, insubordination and law breaking. At precisely 8.27am, I was sat at my desk when I received a text message on my personal phone. Uh, which I did find very odd, as I never get text messages uh, uh, from anyone. Uh, in fact, this was only the second text message I've ever received, the first one being from the mobile provider confirming my network subscription. Now, obviously, I would never indulge in any personal activity whilst at work. I'm being paid by the company, and therefore not working is tantamount to theft. However, on a cautionary glance of the phone screen, I noticed that it was from my colleague, Anthony Kenny. It then became my duty to read it, in case it was a work-related emergency. His message read, Hey Colin, Ant here, just texting you, as I know most of the team are at training today. I've called Rich, but no answer. Could you let him know? There's been an accident at the end of my road, so I'm stuck in gridlock. Ta! Well, to be quite frank, I don't know where to begin. But firstly, I must say I disapprove of the casual tone that he used. He was discussing a business matter with a colleague, and as such, he should be using formal language. He certainly shouldn't be referring to the office manager in such a familiar tone, and on first name terms, no less. It's highly inappropriate. Secondly, I will quote company policy in regards to sickness or lateness. If an employee is late or unwell, they should contact their line manager via phone call. Avoid texting, yeah, you see what he's done already. Avoid texting friends and colleagues as this may cause confusion. If the line manager isn't available, contact front desk or human resources. Now, <laughs> Richard, uh, you know, uh, uh, I don't wish to bluster, but I may have misread, so can I just uh, clarify something with you? I can't seem to find the bit in the policy where it says, just text a colleague and have them pass the message on through no official system of reporting whatsoever. It definitely doesn't say that. No, no, I know it doesn't. Well, if you agree with that assessment, then you'll see that Anthony Kenny has ignored three blatant rules. Firstly, after not getting through to you, he failed to call human resources. OK. Secondly, after not getting through to you, he texted an employee, strictly prohibited by the policy. Thirdly, and perhaps most importantly, he texted me whilst he was stuck in gridlock, his words, 
he did not turn his engine off, and therefore, despite being in a stationary vehicle, in the eyes of the law, he was using a mobile phone whilst driving, which is illegal. Yes, correct, Richard. Now, I'm concerned about him breaking company rules. This was the third of the day, lest we forget. But I'm even more concerned about him breaking the law. Now, I'm informing you of this matter so that you may take further action and decide on the appropriate disciplinary measures to be carried out. That's up to you, as I am not Mr Kenny's supervisor. However, I must say, as a UK citizen, I am obligated to report instances of law-breaking to the authorities. So, in that spirit, I have contacted the police and provided them with Mr Kenny's home address, office address, car registration, and along with details of all of his lawlessness. I await your reply with keen anticipation, Colin Henderson. Right, right, well that's the email. Good, I'm glad I've got that uh, logged uh, and uh, saved away. Uh, this evening I have had several missed calls from Mr Kenny, who might be interested to know that now he is not the first person to text me on my phone, on my personal phone, but also the first person to call me on that phone. Uh, however, since I'm assuming the police inquiry is well underway, I will obviously not be talking with the accused. Uh, as a witness to his horrendous crime, I do not want to pervert the court of justice. Right, I will be going to the tip tomorrow, and uh, it's a Saturday, so no doubt there will be uh, no end of jokers lining up for me to correct. I really do despise weekends. Regards, Colin Henderson.